I'm Liz Heineke, the Kitchen Pantry Scientist, and I have a couple of fun projects to show you that will introduce you to coronaviruses, uh, your immune system, and um, how your immune system can be activated by a vaccination to fight off the coronavirus. So we'll start by talking about coronaviruses. Um, and I've just made coronaviruses, like you can, out of little balls of Play-Doh with other little tinier balls of Play-Doh stuck on them to represent the spikes that you'll find on coronaviruses. Now these viruses were discovered by a woman named June Almeida, who was very good at microscopy or finding very small things under a microscope. And she named them coronaviruses because these spike proteins on the viruses almost make them look like they're wearing a crown or a halo. So she discovered these viruses and scientists now know that viruses use these spike proteins to help them, this represents a human cell, get into human cells, make lots of copies of themselves, and um, cause infections. So here comes antibodies into the, into the picture. And I made antibodies by just cutting up barbecue skewers, putting two toothpicks in to make a Y-shaped molecule, and securing it with Play-Doh. Now antibodies are really important um, tools that your body, weapons your body uses to fight against viral infections. And these Y-shaped molecules are important because not only can they bind viral particles, make them clump together, and make it so they can't enter into, into cells and make new copies of themselves, but antibodies also alert the immune system to the presence of foreign invaders like the coronavirus so that your body can fight the virus off and destroy it before it causes an infection. Now, when you get a coronavirus vaccine, what you're getting is not oh, an entire viral particle. You are just having these spike proteins, just the spike proteins introduced into your body um, and as you've probably heard, they can be introduced into your body via an RNA vaccine or via a protein vaccine, but basically it does the same thing. It causes your body to be able to recognize, and the antibodies in your body, to be able to recognize these spike proteins from the virus. And that way, the next time your body encounters the virus, if you happen to get infected, these antibodies will immediately there will be more of them circulating. They will immediately recognize these viral particles and inactivate them so they can't get into your cells. Okay, so besides making it hard for coronaviruses to get into your cells, uh, antibodies also, like I said, alert your immune system that there are invaders around. And one thing that happens when they alert your immune system is that white blood cells called phagocytes get activated. Now, phagocytes or phagocytosis, the process of these bl white blood cells gobbling up other particles, was discovered by a Russian scientist named Eli Mechnikov. But you can make your own phagocytes to see how, or macrophages, to see how this process works by mixing together one cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of water to create this non-Newtonian fluid that's really fun to play with. It makes this non-Newtonian fluid that acts like a solid when you move it around. See, I can roll it into a ball, but then when you let it relax, it acts more like a liquid and it can drip. It's really fun to play with. Anyway, you can use this goo to fill up a balloon. You can use a funnel or pour it in from a cup and create this squishy, awesome model of a white blood cell. And you can sort of illustrate how phagocytosis works. Now, phagocytosis is when a, an immune cell recognizes either another cell that's been infected or a foreign invader like uh, coronavirus, um, and it recognizes it, and sometimes it recognizes it because it's coated with antibodies, but it actually will attach to the foreign invader. It will take it in and it will gobble it up. The word phago and phagocytosis means to eat. And what happens is it takes it inside to a compartment called a phagosome, or, and then maybe into another like super toxic compartment called a phagolysosome, and it breaks up 
It kills the virus. It breaks it up into tiny pieces. And then it presents these tiny pieces. It spits it back out, presents these tiny pieces on its surface so the immune system can recognize it and make even more antibodies and activate more white blood cells to kill the coronavirus or whatever virus it is before it can cause a bad infection. So that's how with a little Play-Doh, some toothpicks, some cornstarch and balloons, you can illustrate some things about how the immune system works to destroy foreign invaders like the coronavirus and how the coronavirus vaccine uses these tiny spike proteins to activate this immune system so that it will gobble up and destroy foreign invaders before you get really sick. So once again, those projects are from my book, Biology for Kids, available wherever books are sold. Um, and I hope you learned something today. <laughs>